Are you listening? Welcome to the Nerf Report. My name is Bryant. Today is Friday, August 28th, right? Yeah, 28th. Yeah, sorry. Lost complete track of time. I, I can't believe September is almost here. But anyway, here are today's top stories from the world of gaming. First up today, the Video Game Chronicle is reporting that according to retail sources, the PlayStation 5 will be launching on Friday, November 13th, with Xbox launching the Xbox Series X the week before. Now, of course, we need to clarify this by saying this has yet to be confirmed by PlayStation or Xbox, so please, until it is officially announced, take this with a grain of salt. And now for gaming news that we can actually confirm, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart will offer two different versions of the game at launch, with one game running at 30 frames per second and the other version of the game running at 60 frames per second. Niantic has announced that Mega Evolutions are coming to Pokemon Go. Data miners have discovered Black Panther data inside of the latest Fortnite update, leading many to speculate that we may see a surprise Black Panther skin in this season. Valve has revealed a new feature for Steam that will allow players to block select words while in-game chat. Jurassic Park Evolution Complete Edition is coming to the Nintendo Switch on November 3rd. The detective duo of Sam and Max are making a comeback in a brand new VR experience. Sea of Thieves is adding dogs as available pets in a September update to the game. Ginger of Mods posted a photo on Twitter of their latest modification, which combined the Nintendo Wii and the Game Boy Color to create a Wii Boy Color, which can run on all of the games that the Nintendo Wii had to offer. LEGO has dropped a new trailer for Star Wars Skywalker Saga, which is releasing in the spring of 2020. And speaking of release dates, IO Interactive's upcoming Hitman 3 finally has a release date, with the game releasing on January 20th of 2021, and the game will include a free next-gen upgrade. In super weird news, God of War has a kid's book coming out, which is titled God of War B is for Boy. This is one of those stories that when I first read, I was like, that that can't be true, but it is true. Uh, the book is releasing on September 1st, so if you have kids who don't know how to spell and don't know their letters and but like playing God of War, definitely pick up this book. And finally for today, Star Wars Squadrons dropped a brand new trailer showcasing single player gameplay. Well, that wraps up today's top headlines from the world of gaming. If you want more daily gaming news in your life, make sure to support our channel by subscribing to the Nerf Report right here on YouTube. Hey, thanks again for checking out our channel. Are you like the thousands of people in the comment section down below wondering why does this channel have so little subscribers? Well, you can fix that today by subscribing to the channel, liking the video, commenting, and sharing it with your friends, which I know sounds like a lot, but I feel like our channel is worth it.